seventh word. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. This was a very intense and profound personal statement coming from our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he placed his life, his spirit, his whole being, and everything that he had into the hands of the Father. It was his total surrender to the love of the Father. As I reflected on this, I believe this was the call of God today for all of us in this time of insecurity and uncertainty. God is telling us and calling us to place everything into His hands because He loves us. I am Manny Garcia, a 66-year-old retiree and was once a full-time pastoral worker of Couples for Christ for 21 years. We have been a member of this community for the past 39 years. One of my insecurities when I retired is having enough provisions for old age for me and my wife. Because as you age, you have a lot of questions that arise, though including lack of income, your sicknesses, disabilities. So we prepared a bit for this by having some financial and health backups. We have a family business that is run by the next generator, generation and we hope that it would provide for us. It was a buffer for us, but I guess all the well-laid plans that we have will not prepare us for circumstances beyond our control. And this is what I'm talking about right now, the pandemic that hit all of us. Suddenly everything changed overnight. All my fears, insecurities, and anxieties seemed to become alive again. All our preparations became uncertain. We became concerned more about our health and what will happen to us, health of our families and ourselves. Because one of our, the anxieties that we have is that this virus, this disease, targets the seniors. And we are seniors. So, again, we thought about it. What happens if we become sick? What happens to our families? What will become of us? So in prayer, we turn to the Lord and ask for His assurance. And God answered us through a psalm, which my wife posted near our family altar. It comes from the Psalm 91 verse 9 to 10. It says, The Lord is my refuge. No harm shall come to you, nor disaster come near your tent. God was telling us to trust Him, to trust in Him alone, and to give everything to Him because He loves us and He knows intimately all our plans, all our fears, all our anxieties, as long as we just we commit ourselves into His hands. Our next concern was our means of livelihood and support. What will happen to our business? You know, our main clients in our business are mostly government agencies. We had to stop operations as most of our clients had to redirect their operations to containment and relief brought about by the pandemic. Our respective project income dropped to zero. We had to put our plans on hold. We thought our operations would only be cut by a short time. But again, things didn't turn out that way. As the days and weeks uh, went by, we turned our attention to our staff. How will we give them their salaries if we don't have income? What will happen to us? So what we did is just we focused on helping them out in whatever capacity that we could. We continued to support them, give them their salaries, and just help them out. But again, as we were doing all of this, thoughts come to our mind. What happens if all of this become depleted? Where will we get uh, the, the income to be able to provide for everything? How long can we last? How long can our provisions last for us and our family? Being a prayerful family, again we turn to God. We ask the Lord as we assess, assess the magnitude of the challenges that we were facing, yes, the Lord, what now, Lord? But true enough, He assured us again through our prayers that He loves us and is on top of everything. He has assured us that He will take care of us as long as we also take care of those who depend on us. Our staff, the people who work for us, depend on us and we just continue to provide for them. We know that the Lord will just use us as His channels of grace to be able to give back and help out those who are dependent on us. On hindsight, this pandemic has brought out the best in all of us. 
because of this lockdown, everything, everybody became closer to one another. Our prayer life improved, our relationship with one another, and the Lord improved too. We have more time for one another. We have more time to be able to just listen to one another. We have more time for family meals. And I believe that as we just learn to surrender everything to God, He will take care of us. He everything that we have becomes a blessing. Each day is a blessing. Each day is a miracle. That's why as we go through all of this, we believe into His hands. We commend our spirits. We commend ourselves to the Lord. Amen.